Okay, let's go back and let's check out the news section now. The news section gives us a bit more information and a bit more options to actually deal with the actual news items that come that are available on our web page. Like with most of the other options, we first of all have a table here with the available and present news items okay we have the id we have the image video if there is any inserted the title the date stamp the category and visibility the options there are either to edit or to actually delete this particular news so if i hit on edit a new window will show up like this and basically i have three main tabs here the general info the ceo and the advanced options under the general information i have the category i can select from different categories and we'll see how to create different categories and then we have the title the summary the template so we can select from a number of different templates there the author and then we have the body of the actual article or a news down the bottom we have the availability to add a image or a video okay there's also a tab here apart from the body that's actually saying extended in the extended section you can do exactly the same and this is something that's going to appear after the body so first of all you're going to have something that says welcome to your new website and then some text and after that following you'll have this whatever you put in here and basically you can insert text here you can insert some links you can insert some images you can actually insert a template in here and you can insert media you can insert videos and you can insert smileys and there's also a link here which will open a preview okay so this is how you would go about editing the general information of your news article or news item in the ceo section you'll find something to do with search engine optimization and basically you would hear here you would enter some keywords and the words that have been pre-written pre-enter welcome and new website the description you would end here enter here and you have the availability to enable the ping okay you also have the SEF URL right at the top so this is something they used to call this a user-friendly email so for example you would put something here that makes sense in my particular case that's welcome to e107 in the advanced options you have email notification option whether or not to enable it and there is the configure button there as well comments whether or not to have the comments enabled starting and ending the date stamp the visibility who is this visible to once again and whether or not this is going to be a sticky meaning that it's going to stick on a particular page and it's always going to be present there okay so before we actually go into other stuff let's go and see the create category once again section in the create category once again we are creating a category for news items or actually news articles and basically we have like before the option to enter and icon we have the title and you can see that this is a required field and if you click on it you'll see this red border around this field meaning that this is a required field if you click on the description you will not get that border because description is not a required field you enter the description of your group here and you enter some keywords you can enter the something that i mentioned was a user-friendly url here if you would like who can manage this so you would select a group of people and then you put the order there as well once you're done with all that you hit on the create and that will actually create a new category for your news items once you have created a new category you can go to the categories link here and actually see if that category has actually populated in this table so that category would actually appear here once you're done with that you can go and create a new news item all right like before when we are editing an existing news item we get the same field the same information as before once again we have the three tabs here the general information ceo and advanced options and the procedure is pretty much the same you would select from a category and this time you would have a new category so for example if your web page is to do something with news or to with sports you can actually have different categories of sports for example basketball soccer baseball and whatnot and then you can create different categories and put your news items into those news 
categories and once you create a category it will appear here then you will enter the title title is also compulsory field it's a required field the summary you would actually select one of the pre-existing templates if you like you would put who uh, who has actually written this so admin or you would have more people here if you have more members you would go and enter the body you can ac actually enter some extended text here as well and you can go and enter some image or videos once that is done you would hit on the create button okay let's now go into the preferences and in the preferences section first thing you will see is the default template where you will select a default template which is by the default default is called default or you can go and actually select a list default view limit per page so how many times can you view a page by the default it's set to 10 list view limit per page it's also set to 10 list view content you select here and you have all the available contents here and basically you can select all of them or you can select just one or none basically selecting none is no good so you would at least have one item here and this will be assigned to the templates and will be displayed in the list then you have the pinging service and basically what this does is once you have actually created a new news item you are actually going to tell some services that there is a new item or that you have actually updated that particular uh, pre-existing news item okay so it's always good to have this set up correctly and make sure you get for example in this case it's saying blog search .google .com pink and it's got the rpc2 here and that basically means every time that i have created every time i create a new news item or i update an existing one it will actually ping or send information to this particular service and then it will actually inform itself people who it needs to inform so members of my web page or some other people whose email they have news category footer menu whether or not to enable this news category columns how many columns would you like to have one two three four five or six and then we have archiving limit which is set to zero all right so then it says set the title for the news archive and you can actually enter the title here modify modification of the news item author can be done by so we're giving permission to for example admin to actually go and do some modification of the news items and the next option there is to show the date header whether or not we would like to have that and to use non-standard templates for the news layout all right so news is pretty good and it will keep your uh, members updated about anything that's actually happening happening on your on your news on your website all right so under the preferences this was general and we also have the submit news okay so we're actually creating in a way a new news here and we can actually submit it from here okay the first option there is submit news may be accessed by so who can access this members enable something that's called a what you see is what you get editor with the submit news page yes or no and in a way this is what you see is what you get web editor basically because you do not need to know any html or php code to actually write anything any sort of a uh, in this case news so we can go and hit for example on this button here and this will in insert a link so we will just have to type for example www.google.com and we can insert images and whatnot so this is in a way what you see is what you get editor okay so enable or disable that that will that will be selected in this option here the next option is whether or not to enable in image uploading on submit news page then we have the automatic resizing of the submitted image and we can actually set this to a number of pixels so this is in pixels and basically if i put it to one it means just one pixel or we can just leave it as blank as it says here and it will actually disable this automatic resizing lastly we have the text to show at the top of the news item okay once we are done with that we will hit on the update the last option is the submitted news and this will actually give you a table where all of the submitted news will be 
present. Any news you submit, it will automatically go into this table.